I want to go over something that, uh, well, it's not that new. It's not that, well, not used that much, but shows a lot of promise, I think. Maybe it's one of those experimental tr treatments that the medical profession doesn't want to use. Actually, it's using magnetic pulse uh, to combat as a therapy for somebody who had a stroke. You know, he had a stroke, part of the brain it gets damaged. Depends on what part of the brain it gets damaged. Depends on if the right side is infected, the left side is affected, and depends upon the severity of the stroke. Now, of course, it matters greatly if the therapy is started early. Physical therapy started very early is important. Actually, I want to put this out here right from the beginning because even though the medical establishment, <laughs> you know, I don't want to knock them because a lot of them are very, very good. But even though the medical, there's some people in there that aren't that good, though, to tell you the truth. Uh, but even though the medical establishment does know, you know, that doing physical therapy for somebody who had a stroke very, very early on and very consistently is extremely important to the recovery process. If you delay that, and sometimes this happens in larger hospitals, or it could just be somebody's not, you know, dropped the ball, if you delay it, then it's much, much harder to bring things back if you can't bring them back at all. But now I want to go over this. Now I'm going to, sh I'm going to point to an article from 2004, but just, you see, I read a lot of this stuff. I read a lot of medical knowledge. I have a lot of interest in it. I'm an amateur, but I am smart. <laughs> uh, just to brag a little bit, you know, if, <laughs> I don't actually talk like it too much, but uh, um, I don't like well, because just that you understand that I'm not a, a person that's uh, dumb, because I do like talk very plain a lot of times and curse and all that type of stuff. But uh, I've had my IQ tested some, actually it was some decades ago, I think it was. It was 139. And even like the SATs on my high school um, scores, mathematics consistently in the 99th percentile, always 99th percentile. Uh, overall in the 94 percentile, you know, between English and everything else. So, I'm not exactly stupid, even though I talk very plain. I just don't like being a phony. So that's, I kind of overcompensate by talking very plain and co and uh, cursing. But just to get on with this thing with uh, the magnetic um, pulser. Now, this one I bought because it was a little cheaper then, because <laughs> that's what I always do. What's the better deal, right? It's a little cheaper than Soda Instruments uh, Magnetic Pulser. They have, a, but actually Soda Instruments Magnetic Pulser is probably a little bit better quality, but this does have one feature in it I like, that it has the uh, adjustment. So if you bring it down, you have a, like a lesser pulse, a lesser pulse, but it goes every second, you bring it all the way up. It's a stronger pulse every five seconds. Sometimes, you know, just to digress on this unit a little bit, um, you know, if you have a lesser pulse, say you're using it on an injury on your finger, um, well, you probably don't need the full pulse, and maybe you want to have more pulses, so you can bring it down to a lighter pulse, because as this penetrates the body, it can penetrate the body up to 9 inches, but as it gets further and further away, that's on full strength, the, uh, the, the strength of the pulse becomes exponentially weaker. Twice as far away, it's four times weaker. But, you know, if you're just using it to treat some injury on the wrist or something, maybe you don't need the full power. So I thought that was pretty handy. Um, also, I estimated there's actually, I found a little research, there's two capacitors in here. And they're not, they're good quality. They have 3,000 hours in the meantime between failure. I'll just get a little technical spec before I get on to something talking about the stroke. Um, 3,000 hours between you know each one of them, so that's 6,000 hours. So in other words, if you use this unit two hours a day, which means that's it's a 20-minute session, that's six 20-minute sessions, it goes off, it stops after 20 minutes. If you use it two hours a day, 365 days a week, that would last over eight years. Now, Soda Instruments unit has a capacitor that lasts 30 million pulses, supposedly. They got a custom one. That, if you're using it two hours a day, should last you decades. <laughs> but either one of them is good, and uh, if there's a problem with this, you can, you know, take the back off five, ten years from now and change the capacitors, and, you know, they plug right in. No big deal, right? But anyway, I want to point out something about this paddle, too. You notice there's a paddle here. Now, I put a piece of black tape over the south side. 
That's the side you do not want to use almost all the time. You do not want to use. You want to use the north side. So, um, and you keep this away from electronic equipment, cameras, and stuff. I mean, from this distance, it should be okay. Uh, computers, because the magnetic pulse can actually harm electronic components. It's actually putting a bit of electricity through, you know, up to about this distance away from the paddle. But there's been shown, and actually there's been other researchers in Italy that are experimenting with this, when you're pulsing the brain with this magnetic pulser, they believe, at least it's experimental, that it can help the brain make new connections. So in other words, if your brain, your brain was damaged by a stroke and you have to relearn you know, motor skills and everything, it's actually the damages in the brain, but you know they're doing physical therapy with your arms and all this type of stuff, or your leg or whatever size affected. They actually, the pulse of the brain theoretically can help make new connections and help because the brain actually, you, at least 90% of the brain is in use. So if you have a small part of the brain damaged, if it can make new connections and relearn things, this magnetic pulse theoretically some believe and it's been going on for some years now because i'm going to point to the article from 2004 but it goes back even before that that it can actually help relearn help the brain make new connections so it can basically repair itself and use parts of the brain that weren't used before so and this thing um i want to say in some cases very few cases it's good to use the south side the south side is actually something where it can help regenerate tissue. Not like a miracle, it's going to do it very slowly, but it gives a little bit of a regenerative um, influence. But the reason you don't want to use the south side is because it can actually have a regenerative influence on bacteria and viruses. So the watchword is, say for instance you had a break in your finger and it was in a cast and there was no infection keyword no infect two words actually no infection in present if you use the south side on that break that could help regenerate something right there or like a, a particular wound or something that there's no infection if you just don't strictly regenerate tissue the south side has a regenerative stimulative uh, influence but generally speaking at least 95% of the time you want to use the north side, the north side. So that's why I put a piece of black tape on this because <coughs> visually it tells me, you know, don't use this side. And also I could feel there's a piece of tape there. Don't use this side. You know, I use the north side against the body. <coughs> but the way you would use this is you would just turn the unit on and, you know, it would pulse every five seconds. And uh, <coughs> there's a lot of doctors at least, you know, it's not going to be commonly known. That's why I'm putting it out here. <coughs> Which has been doctors over the dec over the ages, actually, that, you know, over the years that have been experimenting with this, and they say it's promising. It's very promising. So, theoretically, it looks promising. And actually, magnetic therapy goes back to the ancients. They used to heal with this a lot. So, <coughs> a lot of times, many times, the ancients had knowledge that we don't have and uh, you know I suspect I guess maybe the problem with magnetic therapy is that for for instance anybody say for instance you had all the knowledge that could be downloaded in the PDF and somebody spent hours researching what works on this and what works on that and everything anybody could buy this and if they had a knowledge of how to use it and assume it does work guess what you just put the specialist out of business in you right <laughs> So I think that's one of the problems where, you know, major medicine doesn't want to go too much into this. It's like they want to have a, you know, a $500,000 machine they could pass off on, uh, at, you know, $1,000 for 15 minutes use. So that's usually the problem. So, uh, but this does look like if a person had a stroke and they're going undergoing, first thing, actually un don't, you know, use this instead of the therapy. You want to do a lot of physical therapy, and you want to do it very quickly. You want to do it right off the bat. You don't want to delay on that, and you want to do physical therapy um, every day, several times a day, as much as possible. Actually, I want to tell you this. You don't need to be an expert. Say you had a family member who had a stroke. 
you don't need to have a medical person come in there and like help move the arm and you know this type of stuff to try to you know bring the muscles back as a family member you can do that when you visit the person in the hospital or if they're at home or whatever the hell it is you can help them with that all the time the earlier you do that the, the better but I'm saying is this may be a nice supplemental thing to do in addition to that and what you would do is you would uh, pulse the brain you know and uh, that's that's what some researchers are finding out that they think this is very promising and it has effect actually there's some people who say it has worked for them for a stroke now personally me if I had this I would pulse the brain and I would if I say my arm was numb from the stroke I would pulse the arm too I would do the whole thing I don't know if you would need to do that but I would I would because actually uh, physical therapy is extremely important for stroke recovery and I just want to point out this thing you know soda instruments has an excellent unit too I mean this is not the only one out there this to me it seems like a very good unit too but this is uh, I believe it was three hundred and thirty four dollars shipped uh, soda instruments is four hundred dollars shipped so when you're looking at the medical cost involved and you know, everything involved with a stroke um, and this does have other uses besides it. Um, I, I, I would highly recommend this. And I think probably way over 99% of the doctors would not tell their patients to do this because they're not trained to do so. But apparently there are some doctors that are experimenting with it. I personally think it would be worthwhile. And looking at the cost involved, it's not much compared to the rest of the medical bill for the stroke. So uh, I just recommend give it a try. Give it a try. And uh, I would actually like to know if you know, it helped people because sometimes I'm reading it does help people. But there's so little information out there that you know we don't really know. And like I pointed out, I think one of the problems with some of these things is that if the cat got out of the bag it, that a magnetic pulser could help greatly with healing this or healing that or doing this and doing that, it would put the specialist business, it would make the specialist, in other words, the medical people's business greatly diminished because anybody could do this stuff. Now, I think that's one of the problems with some of these things too. They don't have a, you know, a stranglehold on the technology themselves. But, uh, just like I said, if you have a stroke, this may be a worthwhile thing to do. But most importantly, physical therapy, physical therapy, physical therapy. And any family member can help you with that, too, besides the medical people. You don't have to wait for the physical therapist to come by. Other people can help with this. That actually makes a great difference in how well the person recovers to do it right away.